Hey everybody, welcome to Wacky Wednesday number 139 on the Mandalik. I'm John as always, and we're going to continue playing Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds. We're going to finish off this green quest and see what uh, comes after that. Red, blue, black, white, who knows? But we're going to play Red Dragon, see if I can remember how to play. It was only a week ago, but a lot of stuff happened there. So this is how our deck currently is. Do we have 10 spells? We do have 10 spells in here. We don't have Threaten in... We don't have Goblin Sky Raider in, and we don't have Fervor in, but we do have the Double Strike Enchantment. We've got a bunch of creatures, including the uh, the brand new Volcanic Dragon. So I guess we'll just go in with that. One tip that I saw a lot of was use your shield. Use your shield or the game becomes impossible. That's something I will have to remember because I'm one of those players who have been playing fighting games on and off since the early 90s, and I don't think I've ever pushed the block button. Unless it was part of a special move or a fatality. So I will try to remember that. The enemy duelist has amassed quite an army. Find a way to beat the odds and win the battle. So presumably with the dragon. That was our new spell. Um, and there's a spider here. So like a reckless charging dragon, I guess. You must use volcanic dragon at least once. Sure thing. Duel. Da -da 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 -duel. Whoa, why do they already have a dude? Raging Goblin, fight for me, please. Raging Goblin, fight for me. Ah, this is not good. This is not going to go well at all. Alright, so that'll kill that one. Go grab that. We can drop another Goblin Hero. They'll fight there. Pick up some stuff. Another goblin hero. We're gonna need to get the mana to get a dragon out at some point. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Smack, smack, smack. Can't smack. Smack. Alright, so that dragon's gonna live for like one attack? It is gonna kill the spider. Reckless Charge is not entirely what I meant to cast, but it did some extra damage. Whoa, didn't even see that guy. Uh, is my dragon dead? My dragon is, in fact, dead. So, that sucks. Alright. Hey, don't smack me. Alright, so you'll fight him. That's cool. You'll go fight him. I get to smack him. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Dragon. Reckless Charge it? Let's charge it. Smack him. Goblin, 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 goblin. Other type of goblin. Ah, somebody gave me that tip too. You can double, uh, double strike some uh, enemies if you're fast enough. Okay, <laughs> we were in trouble there at the last second, but the dragons got him. The dragons got him good. Inferno deals six damage to all creatures and duelists for six mana? I don't think so. Maltani Maro Sorcerer. He summons Maros? Maltani Maro Sorcerer is a being controlled by an unseen hand. He fights against his will and won't hesitate to destroy you. All right, so we just got to kill this Maro Sorcerer. Um, so our Goblin King has fallen out. Is Goblin King something we should be playing? I feel like maybe it is. What else do I have in here? I have, I've got that stupid Retromancer that, that I don't care about. Get rid of Retromancer. Um, it's a 5 drop. That's also a 5 drop. It deals 2 damage to all creatures and duelists when it comes into play. It deals 2 to me as well. Um, yeah, I feel like I want to load up on goblins instead. So let's go Goblin King. Um, goblin King and Goblin Flying Dude. We've got Inferno, we've got Scorching Missile. I forgot we had that. So the ideal here is going to be like Goblin, 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 Goblin King, Dragons. Let's give that a try. Let's give that a try. Let's try to also steal uh, some gems from this Morrow Sorcerer. Uh, he got that one. So let's go Goblin. Goblin. Another goblin for the hell of it. No, why is it so far away? Goblin hero. goblin hero. 
Now we can try to get the mana up to get a Goblin King down. Forgot how to switch pages. Get a Goblin King to boost up those goblins. Uh, try to summon some more goblins, I suppose. We're actually doing pretty okay here. Especially if our Goblin King lives. Let's get another Goblin King down. Yeah, this isn't a problem at all. Get to Scorching Missile him and uh, maybe finish him off here. Are you dead yet? Are you dead? Are you dead? You're pretty dead. Now you're down to two. This is easy. This is easy mode. We're just going to stand here. And, yeah. Taste it, Mulligatani. At last, my servitude has ended, and I am at peace with the forest. Aw, now he's a happy tree. Happy little tree. Yoink! The first step of your quest is complete, and the green stone is now yours. But there is still much to do. Castle Lucitos is in peril. Its angels have flown. Go to them now. Seek out the holiest of the holy, the giver of light. So I'm guessing white is next? Elvish warrior, 2-3 two, for 2. Sounds a lot better than a 2-2 two for, two, two for 2. Why would I never not play this? Why would I never not play this? Why would I ever... Well, I guess the goblin synergizes with the goblin king, but... You know, you have mastered red magic and possess one piece of the talisman. Your victory over Multani was impressive. However, you must master all five colors of magic to achieve your final goal. As an acolyte, you will learn green spells, which are unparalleled at creating powerful creatures and making them even more powerful. Once you've learned them all, you must defeat a chroma. Pardon? An angel of master of white magic. Good luck. Does she have pro red black? Goblins everywhere. Goblins are everywhere. Once an ally, they are now the enemy. Do I just, like, lose? Am I, like, mono green now? I look different, right? I think I look different. Uh, goblins everywhere. Defeat the enemy duelist ru goblin rush using Elvish Warrior. You must use Elvish Warrior. Okay, yep, yep, yep. I lose everything, and now I'm mono green. Elvish Warrior. Go get him. Go get him. Elvish Warrior. Fight the Goblin. Elvish Warrior. They're all doing good. Go smack her good. Man, there's, there's not much going on in this battle. Just Elves beaten on goblins. I assume at some point I'll hit the, the critical mass of five and then it'll just be the waiting game. Which is subpar to Hungry Hungry Hippos. Alright, we'll just stand back now. Jam on this I key. Smack. Got her. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Goblins ain't nothing. Giant growth. Giant growth gives the caster ca get, bleh, gives the caster's closest creature a plus three plus three bonus until it responds. <laughs> and as we all know, giant growth costs two green mana. Giant steps. More powerful red creatures could prove to be your undoing. Oh no! What is it? Two two goblins. Giant growth makes your creatures harder to destroy. Use this to your advantage, and defeat the enemy duelist. Didn't we see this guy but a green version? And aren't we just a green version of our previous red version selves? You must use giant growth at least once to complete this quest. Will do. Will do 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 do. Smack the goblin. Give me a thing. There's a thing. He should be getting a thing pretty soon, and I want to steal it. Ah, oh, it's too far away. G -g -g giant growth. Ooh, he's got a reptile buddy. 
Elvish Warrior, go get him. Elvish Warrior number two, go get him. I said, go get him. Smack. Giant growth yourself. Ooh, he's down to four life. Couple of Elvish Warriors, and that should be the end, I think. Smacky, smacky. Smacky, smacky. Got him. Got him good. Defiant Elf. One, one trample. Pardon? Pardon? What is Defiant Elf in Magic? What is Defiant Elf? Is there a Defiant Elf? Defiant Elf. MTG. Defiant Elf is from Legions. For those who weren't aware, of which I was one, it is a 1-1 one -one trample for one. Not entirely sure why that exists, but apparently it does. Trampled underfoot. Now that you have a crancher, with, cre <laughs> crancher creature with trample, attacks on the enemy duelist are virtually assured. I will see if that's true or not. Trampled underfoot. Trampling creatures are not easily stopped. Creatures with trample, with trample lose power equal to the damage they deal to other creatures until they respawn. After defeating a creature, they will continue attacking until they reach the enemy duelist or die trying. Defiant Elf has trample. So we'll obviously have to use that with... Does she start with double strike? That's a bit BS. Giant growth. Yeah. Saved that elf just in time. All right, so that elf's gonna die there. We'll get to kill that one, kill that one. Grab a thing, let's get an elvish warrior. So it'll deal with some stuff. Get our trampley dude going. Giant growth up our trampley dude. Giant growth up our trampley dude. Continue giant growthing up our trampley dude. There we go, now he's big and beefy. Beef. Cake. Ow! Dick. Alright, smack him. Make a defiant elf. Give it giant growth. Give it giant growth. GG. Not quite GG. Pretty damn close. Alright, so let's just smack her. Smack! Finish that off well. Finish that off well. You've completed the quest. As a reward, you've learned a new creature spell, Lanoir Elves. 1-1 one, one creature ability, Lanoir Elves generate one mana shard every five seconds. Do I have to pick it up? Because that sounds dumb. Save the Elves. The value of Lanoir Elves is key. Oops. No, no. I, I need I need that. There we go. Save the Elves. To beat the enemy duelist, this duelist has a formidable ground attack. I assume it's going to wrath my elves. All right, grab that, make an elf, make an elf, make an elf. Wrong elf, wrong elf, I wanted a mana dork. Make an elf, make an elf, make an elf. All right, so it's gonna make mana shards, so I'm assuming I have to pick these up. Also, I'm assuming these count as creatures, so it's like I can't have more than five of them and then I can't make, I do have to go pick them up, that's gross. All right, let's drop an elvish warrior. Let's try and growth it just to kind of defend me for a bit. And then we'll go the Trampley Elf route. And instead we'll accidentally cast that because it's where my other thing used to be. Okay, so I am at my creature max now, so I'll let him die. Come on, go die. Go die. Go die. Go die. Go die. There we go. Come on, die. How did it not die? There we go, now it's dead. Defiant Elf. Giant growth. Giant growth. Giant growth. Giant growth. More giant growth on it. More giant growth on it. Uh oh. Now it's going to die this time. Rip. Alright, let's get four mana. Defiant elf. Giant growth it. Grab the thing. Giant growth it. Giant growth it. <laughs> this is cheap. This is cheap, but it worked, but it worked. 
What do we get? We get Tranquility. Tranquility destroys all enchantments. For four mana. Four. Enchantment, no more. Enchantments can be a threat if left unchecked. Deal with them as quickly as possible. I should start calling naturalize. Enchantment, no more. Buy now. Get two for the price of one. Defiant Elf, go get him. Go get him. Defiant Elf, go get him. Give me your mana shards. Defiant, Defiant. Well, I guess we should ramp a little bit, eh? Because we can just smack that guy. Find elf. Let's make another Lanoir elf. Let's make another Lanoir elf. Smack him. No, don't kill my Lanoir elf. Ow, dick! Elvish, Elvish warrior, you go deal with some stuff. We'll make another one more Lanoir elf. Smack, smack. And now we'll start the Defiant Elf plan. Defiant elf. Giant growth. Oops. Man, it's so easy to, like, not choose the correct thing. Alright, Defiant Elf. Giant Growth. Giant Growth. Giant Growth. Still died. Fine. We'll use the stupid Tranquility. Oh, we probably have to use it, don't we? That was probably part of the requirements. Elvish Warrior, defend me for a little bit. That is a beefcake of a Lanwar Elf over there. Alright. So you go die. Gratuitous violence. Gratuitous violence? Pardon me, what? Alright. Elvish Warrior, I need you to go die. I need you to need you to go die. Please go die. Go go die. There we go. Defiant elf. Make it big. Make it big. Make it big. Make it big. Oh dear. It doesn't even have a thing anymore. Does that represent like more than 10? All right, make it big. Make it big. Make it big. Make it, make it big? No, nope, didn't make it big that time. Make it big. Make it big. Go get her. Go get her. Got her. Alright, gotta remember that. Lanoir Elves first, then Defiant Elf. Trampoly stuff. We got a Gorilla Chieftain. 3-3 three, three with Regenerate. What does Regenerate do? Have we learned what Regenerate does? More Magma Giants! This time you have the perfect answer to their destructive nature. I I'm guessing it's Regenerate. Magma Giants are of no use against Regenerating creatures. Remember that, and you should easily win. It didn't tell me what Regenerate does, and I can't remember. Does it come back at, like, full power, maybe? Hello, that just straight up murdered my dude. Go away, please. Okay, so. Lanowar Elves not doing great against the Magma Giants. Got him. Let's make a Chieftain, because apparently that's going to be the key to us winning. Somehow. Alright. <laughs> Thank you for telling me what regeneration does. Some green creatures have regeneration. Creatures with regeneration respond with full power and toughness for a cost of two mana if dealt lethal damage. So if I have two mana, they come back? Is that what I'm understanding? So as long as I always have two mana available, we're good? So I can, like, make a land war elf now? Although that's going to get killed on the next magma giant. All right, so it regened. Did it? Did it take my mana? Ow! Quit it. All right, so they're gonna go smack him. Magma giant's gonna hit me for two. Giant growth here. Okay, it did take my two mana. Hey, we won! I'm not sure how, but we won. So, we got that going for us. 
You've completed the quest. As a reward, you've learned a new creature spell, Giant Spider. Blocks, creatures, flying, and ground alike. Red skies at night. Your ground mastery is commendable. Now you must look to the skies for your enemies to see if you can stop them. So they're going to send in goblin flyers, I assume, or... I mean, we were already against magma giants. Maybe we're up to uh, dragons. Nope, goblin sky raiders. So we just need to summon some giant spiders. And they were, what, a four drop? Just like in magic. Land war elf. Make me some mana. Make me some mana. Smack. Where? 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 Where's my mana thing? There's my mana thing. Land war elf. Make me some mana. Smack. Land war elf. Make me some mana. Smack. Land of our elf. Make me some mana. Alright, giant spider. It's your time. It's your time. Okay, but the giant spider doesn't attack. It has defender or something, right? So it just hangs back. And it's dead already? What the hell was that goblin dude all about? Aren't they one twos? They are one twos. Alright, let's elvish warrior this. Fine elf time. Time to get cheap. Fine elf, giant growth. Oops, that's giant growth in the elvish warrior, but it still works. Giant growth, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Further on the wreckage. She's down to four, she's down to three. I just giant growth the Lanoir elf, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Giant growth him, and she's gonna be dead. She wasn't dead. Oh right, shield. I forgot all about the shield again. Someday I'll push that button. Someday I'll push that button. Untamed Wilds. Untamed Wilds cause one mana crystal to appear immediately. Ooh, it does not affect the generation of other mana crystals. So at three mana I can just ramp into four? That's good to know. Gorilla is in your midst. This duelist does not think, does not think you can control two gorilla chieftains at the same time. We'll show him. Or her. We'll show him. To win, control two... To, to win, control two grilled chieftains, chieftains at any point. Oh! I thought he meant he was going to have two gorilla chieftains and I couldn't handle them. He, he literally means I can't handle them as a handler of gorilla chieftains. Okay, so we just have to ramp and cast two gorillas. So we'll go pick that up. Lanoir Elf. Go and pick that up if the elf gets out of our way. Make another Lanoir elf. We got 42 seconds here. So we'll untamed wilds as soon as we pick this one up. Which gives us another mana crystal. So then we can make a, a dude. Gorilla chieftain number one. Give me some mana crystals. Give me some mana crystals. Gorilla chieftain number two. Ha! I've got... Oh, nope, the other one died. I didn't have mana left. Alright, so he's going to kill that one. So we'll let it die. And then... What? Why didn't it respawn? I had mana! I had more than two mana available. Is it combat damage? Maybe it's combat damage, so spell damage... Oh, I think Engulfing Flames actually explicitly says... Yeah, Engulfing Flames nullifies regeneration. Right, 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 right. So I should try to get up to, like, 8 mana instead? And just, like, double cast? Alright, so we'll drop another Lanoir Elf here. We will Untamed Wilds. If I can push the correct buttons, there we go. Untamed Wilds, grab that one. Grab that one. Untamed Wilds. Grab that one. Untamed Wilds one more time. Grab that one. Fill up to eight mana. Almost there. Uh, Goblin Chieftain, or Gorilla Chieftain. Gorilla Chieftain. Ha! What do you know? I controlled two gorilla chieftains at the same time. Priest of Titania, 1-1 one, one creature, generates one mana shard for each elf in play every five seconds. 
So make a priest. Well, make a Llanowar Elf, make a Llanowar Elf, make a priest. Yeah. Sounds good, sounds good. Man, ramp is big in this game. Mana Rally, a green duelist has challenged you to a mana race. Do you have what it takes to win? These uh, these these protectors of the white realm are real serious with their mana races. You must collect and you must collect and fill twelve mana crystals before the enemy duelist does. Warning: dealing damage to the enemy duelist results in a disqualification. <laughs> ah, the underground mana races. All right, so you must use Priest of Titania, obviously, to do this. So we're gonna go Lanowar Elf. Oh, so is she? Can I kill her Lanowar Elves? I can. I just can't deal damage to her. Alright, so now we'll go Priest of Titania. Priest of Titania. And now we'll... No! 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 Un unsummon! Un unsummon! Oh, I'm so glad there's friendly fire. <laughs> Untamed Wilds is what I meant to cast there. No Priest of Titania. Uh, sure, another Priest of Titania. Holy mana crystals! Untamed Wilds. Uh, sure, Giant Growth. That's totally what I meant to cast. Untamed Wilds. Untamed Wilds. Untamed Wilds. Is that 12? That's got to be 12, right? 11? Is this 12? It's got to be 12. How is that not 12? 12? How many did I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Did they have to be filled as well? Ugh. Alright. So we had 12 mana crystals. We just didn't fill them. Yes, they have to be filled. Okay, okay. You got me, game. You got me. You done did fooled me. Gonna kill your elf, though. Get out of my way, elf. Oh my god. Controls, 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 controls. Alright, let's untamed wilds here. And then let's make an elf. Man, it's really about, like, just muscle memory of remembering which buttons are which. Priest of Titania. She's got a Priest of Titania as well. So now it's all about... All about the Untamed Wilds. And just like hanging out by Priest of Titania. Oh, she's got the 12. No, not giant growth. Man. <laughs> this is so annoying. All right. All right. It's really all about memorizing which buttons to push. Oh, a quest hint. Figure out a sequence of Llanowar Elves, Priest of Titania, and Untamed Wilds in order to beat the enemy. Yes, I, I would like to concentrate on casting quickly. That's what I've been trying to do. K, J. Yeah, that's the buttons. No. No! Alright, so next up will be the priest. Oh, if I can steal that. Mine! Oh, she got it. Alright. Alright, so now it's just Untamed Wilds time. Alright, I think we're ahead of her now. We are definitely ahead. We're ahead by like one ish crystals. Alright, last crystal. Now we just gotta fill them up. So we should be good here. Yeah! Yeah! I won that underground ma uh, mana rally. 
Run Wild! Sorcery. Blocking change. Run Wild gives the caster's closest creature trample and regeneration until it responds for a single mana. Nifty. Youthful indiscretion. A white duelist appears and intends to punish your insolence. Okay, so, so we're finally done with mana races on the way to this uh, beating up of a chroma. Finally, somebody who's actually going to fight here. Why does he get a little buddy? You must defeat the enemy duelist in any way possible. Can I use my words? You must use Run Wild at least once to complete this quest. Run Wild gives casters close creature trample and recreation until it responds. Why, do, why does he have a dude? What is this dude? That should have been a Llanowar Elf, not a Defiant Elf. First Strike. Some white creatures have First Strike. Creatures with First Strike get to deal all their damage before creatures without it. Makes sense. If the creature is destroyed, they won't get to deal the damage back. Makes sense. Mac. Okay, but they first strike doesn't really seem to work on me though, so that's that's a plus. All right, so we got our mana dudes, we got our elves. Let's uh, get giant growthy here. I said let's get giant growthy here, or create another Llanowar elf. That's a hundred percent what I meant to do. Smack, smack, smack. Smack. Defiant Elf. Let's give it giant growth. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Um, Alright. So we can give that trample and regen. And it just died anyways. Okay. Elvish Warrior. We'll go smack that guy. Still got hit. Giant growth to save it. No, nope. still just ate it. Giant growth it. Run wild. All right, there we go. There we go. We got trample on it. Get to deal some real damage. Gets to regen. Giant growth. Let's get trample on it again. Okay, it's got trample on it and regen. Giant growth missed. Run wild. Give it regen. Oh, we gave Lanwar Elf regen. And she's going in. She's going in. Got him good. Give it regen. Oops, gave her regen again. Lanwar Elves, get in there. Go, go get him. Yeah. That's what happens when you give your Lanwar Elf a sword. So that worked. I'm not sure that's how it was supposed to work, but it worked. Rushwood Elemental, 4-4 four, four for 5, gains plus 1, plus 1 permanently whenever it respawns. So as long as it lives, which it will with the use of Run Wild, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Sounds good. Into the Fire, a powerful master of red magic wishes to test your abilities. Alright, you're on. Uh, no, I won't Run Wild. Uh, I don't care for tranquility. Uh, no. Also, I want that to be where it was. Thank you. All right. Let's show this red wizard what for. Into the fire. Defeat the enemy duelist with all the spells of your command. To the duelist will at first seem impossible to defeat. Thanks for having confidence in me. Rushwood Elemental is the key. Lanwar Elf, go get him. Or, or don't go get him. That's that's not the point. She just, like, smoked my Lanwar Elf there. I think I might have just smoked my Lanwar Elf there. These goblins are obnoxiously speedy. No, not run wild. Creature, make a Lanwar Elf that lives. Nope. Lanwar Elf, get ye behind me. Why does the stupid elf spawn in front of me? Lanowar elf spawn. Don't engage the goblin. Let me engage the goblin, please. Can we can we get a dude? Can we get it? Can can we get a dude, please? All right, let's make a dude. 
Where where the hell is my dude? Oh my god, it's on page three. Why is there a page three of creatures? Why do these goblins get to just ignore him? Alright, if she engulfing flames me, I'm toast. No, not run wild on the Lanor elf. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Lanoir Elf insta die. Lanoir Elf insta die. She gets to start with a full health bar. Not, nope, not giant growth. Not what I wanted to do. Alright, so we've got the mana to make the thing, which is on page three, as we learned. No, we don't have the mana, we need one more crystal. I mean, at least these goblins are one-shot kill, but her constantly flaming me is a problem. Alright, Rushwood Elemental. I think I accidentally smacked it again. Man, knowing that friendly fire is on is a, a thing. Brushwood Elemental. Please go do something. Not... Oh my god. Oh my god, this game. We'll see if I ever get through this game. I have a feeling it's going to rapidly get into the uh, not well-designed territory. <laughs> Alright, so we're dead here. Yep. Yeah. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay. So maybe there's no point in Llanowar Elves here. Elvish Warrior, a three toughness for two mana is the best defense against quick red attacks. Cast them quickly to stave off the attacks. Be sure to collect as many mana, mana shards as possible. All right. So a two, three will live through two engulfing flare blasts and a goblin. I guess that makes sense. All right. So we're going to cast nothing. We're just going to smack that goblin. Grab that, cast an Elvish Warrior. So the Elvish Warrior is going to sort of maybe live a little tiny bit. Go and grab that Mana Crystal. I'd love to steal one of hers. Alright, another Elvish Warrior. So there we go, we got a pair of them. And now we're just a Mana Crystal away from uh, Brushwood Elemental. That Elvish Warrior just ate it real quick, like. Another Elvish Warrior. There's the Mana Crystal we need. Just got to get up to the five mana. We can make a Brushwood Elemental. And then what do we do? We, like, we, we need to give it regen. ASAP. Or do we need to give it Giant Growth? Because it's just going to die here. Because it doesn't need to regen. It just has to live through an attack on a Goblin, right? Because it doesn't have trample, so once it kills one, it's just done. Sure, Gorilla Chieftain, that's what I meant to cast. Brushwood Elemental. Brushwood Elemental, there we go. Let's give it giant growth. Let's give it giant growth. Let's give it giant growth. Let's let's giant growth it. Okay, does it does it have trample? Why is it continuing? It must have trample. That's why it's continuing to uh, walk through these goblins. So if we can keep it alive, which might be a trick, because boy, 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 is she uh, really giving it the what for. Did she just kill it? No, it lived. All right. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Just keep giant growth in it. Just keep giant growth in it. No, no, I wasted man on a land war elf. Just keep giant growth in it. Yeah, smack her good. All right, just got to get through one more time. Just got to get through one more time. 
Just one more time. Just one more time. Just one more time. Just one more time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. We got Overrun. Overrun gives each creature uh, plus three, plus three bonus and trample until it respawns. So it's a sorcery. It's not an enchantment. Cool. All right. That's going to wrap it up for the day. <laughs> We're going to relax after that uh, hell of a fight there. And we'll come back and do Doubly Blessed and fight our way to a Chroma and whatever lies next next week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This game is a hell of a thing. I am not willing to say it's good, but it's interesting. So there is that. Let me know what you think of this, uh, if you've played it, etc. in the comments down below. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me on Twitter at The Mana League. That's L-E-E-K, like the vegetable, not the card. You can also find me at Facebook.com slash Mana League, Twitch.tv slash Mana League, and Patreon.com slash Mana League. If you like the content, click that thumbs up button. Click subscribe if you want to see more and you haven't already. And if you do have questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, see you all next time.